Hello friends, good morning. In my previous lecture, I had explained the classification of lightning arresters. The lightning arresters are classified into three categories. Number one, gap type lightning arresters. Number two, gap type lightning arresters with nonlinear registers. And number three, gapless lightning arresters. I had explained the characteristic of those, like, those three like, types of lightning arresters also. So today I will start discussion on first category that is gap type lightning arresters. So in this category I will explain three different types of lightning arresters. Number one, rod gap lightning arrestor. Number two, on gap lightning arrestor. And number three, expulsion type lightning arrestor. So let us start with the first one that is rod gap lightning arrestor. This is simplest type of lightning arrestor which consists of two rods. Number one, that is connected to the line. Number two, that is connected to the ground or earth. So here I have shown a transmission line. Then it is transformer from line. Connection is going to the transformer through this bushing. This is the bushing of the transformer. And here we are using Gap type, uh, rod gap type lightning arrestor to protect the transformer. Upper rod is connected to the line and lower rod is connected to the ground. Now this gap, rod gap is adjusted in such a way that it does not spark over during normal power frequency over voltages, but it sparks over whenever there is lightning over voltage. So accordingly, we are adjusting the gap so that the equipment gets adequate protection. So when lightning over voltage comes, the gap breaks down because here conducting medium, insulating medium is here. So when voltage is sufficient to break the dielectric properties of the air between the gap, the gap breaks down and the lightning over voltage is discharged. So this is the simplest lightning arrestor. Advantages, number one, it is simplest one. Number two, it is cheap. But there are lot of drawbacks. Number one drawback is here, there is no other medium to extinguish this arc. Therefore, arc persists for longer time. Number two, even after discharge of this lightning over voltage, there is arc and due to that arc, the power frequency follow current is flowing and that is flowing for a long time. Therefore, the relay may sense this as line to ground fault and it may trip the circuit breaker. Number three, here the insulating medium is air and breakdown properties of the air are affected by atmospheric conditions. Therefore, spark over voltage here is affected by the atmospheric condition as well as it is affected by the polarity of the incoming impulse voltage. We have studied in the first unit that polarity of the voltage affects the breakdown, breakdown phenomena. So if it is of negative polarity, then the breakdown takes place at higher voltage, relatively higher voltage. And if it is of positive polarity, then breakdown takes place earlier. So breakdown is affected by or spark over voltage is affected by the polarity of the incoming impulse voltage. So these are the drawbacks. So this is very basic or elementary type of lightning arrestor. Simple and cheap. Second is horn gap type lightning arrestor. So here I have shown three lines. Now this type of lightning arrestor is connected in each line. I have shown this in one of the lines. So these are again two rods. They are bent in the form of horn. One is connected to the line through register and second is connected to the ground. So here also the insulating medium is air. Though no non-linear resistance or any additional device is there. This resistance is connected to limit the current, to limit the discharge current which is flowing after spark over of the gap. So here also the gap is adjusted in such a way that during normal condition there is no spark over of the gap. So this acts as open circuit. Whenever there is lightning over voltage, the gap breaks down, sparks over and the arc is established at the point of minimum distance that is between a and A dash. Now, according to the property of the arc, 
the arc starts moving in the upward direction and here you can see as we are moving from a dash to bb dash the gap is progressively increasing so voltage is insufficient to maintain the arc and hence arc is extinguished when it reaches the point bb dash so the time required to extinguish the arc is relatively less than this type of lightning arrestor because here arc is moving in the upward direction the gap is progressively increasing therefore the voltage is not sufficient to maintain the arc therefore arc is extinguished so here also the advantages are it is simple and second it is cheap but same drawbacks are there here arc persists for longer time now here it is longer but relatively less longer as compared to the rod gap type lightning arrestor second drawback again power frequency current flows for longer duration but it is the duration is less than that is for the rod gap type lightning arrestor number 3 here also the insulating medium is air therefore it is affected by atmospheric conditions as well as polarity of the incoming impulse voltage in one of my video lectures i had demonstrated the moment of arc in this horn gap type lightning arrestor the title of the experiment is to observe the moment of the arc in horn gap type lightning arrestor i am giving the link for that experiment you can see the you can see that experiment through that link you will observe the formation of arc at this point and it is moving in the upward direction third type that is expulsion type lightning arrestor i will explain in my le next lecture friends if you feel this lecture this video lecture useful then please like it ask your friends colleagues and your juniors to subscribe to my channel for upcoming video lectures on high voltage engineering and power power system protection i have written one book on time management if you want to make efficient and effective use of time then please read my book on time management the link for the book is also given in the description box i have launched one useful course for the students in udemy the title of the course is boost your learning and become top achiever the link for the book is also given in the description box this course is very useful for the students who are preparing for the competitive and entrance exams thank you